Hello and welcome to Watch Maxi's Watch Videos. My name is Axel and I'm glad to have you on the show for another episode of my series One Week on the Wrist. Today I'm going to present you a watch which arrived today and this is the LA El Capitan, a watch which um, has light and shadow, good and, and um, improvement potential. It's a digital quartz watch from Germany and um, already today I can say this is going to be a very interesting video over a full week. It's an interesting watch and I really hope to be able to surprise you both in terms of watch and company. Yeah, today I picked up my LA El Capitan and it was the first time that I took shots directly in my car. As you can see, the package is a really small one. I can easily uh, attach it into my steering wheel. I do appreciate this. Not much waste. Uh, I can put it into one hand without any issue. Really, really nice. And I appreciate that a lot. Within that box, um, it's the invoice for sure. And a really small travel case from LA nothing extraordinary nothing uh, you have to store away it all has a meaning and can be used in practice here we have the rubber band which i ordered in addition to that the claim of lay is don't give a fuck which translates for me into don't take yourself too serious and this is what i did i put on my thickest t-shirt my soft shell jacket and went out to the brutal city near nature at six degrees plus to walk my dog. Yep. This is the LA El Capitan which arrived today and it is really a great watch but what you already can see the legibility is, um, is not the very very best. Here the main focus has been on design rather than on readability. It is a negative and inverted display. So um, this is not the easiest way to read a watch. However, I like it. It's a comparatively thick watch, but um, I like the retro design. And uh, let's see what the measures say. If we look at the width we have uh, 36 millimeter and uh, lug to lug uh, well, we don't have really lugs here but let's say uh, nine to uh, six six to twelve o'clock we have 42 43 millimeter overall so quite nice the thickness of the watch and uh, let's see how I can get this one. The thickness of the watch is about 12 millimeter, but you have to consider that the steel bracelet is a little bit higher than the sapphire crystal. So the sapphire crystal is protected by the bracelet. Nicely done. Um, on my wrist, it feels pretty well. Uh, looks good, wears nice and what I'm going to do is I'll have it on my wrist for a full week, keep you updated on a daily basis and tomorrow I'm going to tell you a little bit more about LA as a company, background, what I like, what I don't like and there is actually nothing what I don't like so far. Um, I'm going to play around with some straps and um, yeah, let you see and share with you what I do, what I feel and how I anticipate the watch over a full week. As you can see, very, very hard daily life, my dog. And here am I. And my El Capitan from LA is still on my wrist. I've noticed that reading the time at a digital watch is less intuitive compared to a three-hand watch, so I need to get used to it, but I still like the watch very much. Um, tomorrow I'm going to tell you something about LA as a company and some background information. The day after, I 
think I um, I'm going to present you my signature strap parade. So presenting the El Capitan on different straps. And what's coming over the following days, I'm not quite sure. I think I've got to decide this quite intuitively. It's uh, Thursday morning, day two of my one week on the wrist, and the LA El Capitan is still on my wrist. The digital display is something I have to get used to it. Um, reading the digital display is a little, little bit slower compared to the three-hand um, display of showing the time. And secondly, the inverted, the negative display is something which has a slightly lower contrast compared to a positive display. When reading the time overnight, when I wake up and my eyes are not, <laughs> not as wake as they are over day, I um, need some time to focus my eyes and the light of the El Capitan is okay, but it's not gorgeous. So I have to push the light button two times, three times, worst case, four times before my eyes are used to the display focus to the digital figures, but then I can read the time with no problems. Yeah, it's uh, Thursday, uh, late afternoon, day two, and the LAL Capitan is still on the wrist. And there are a couple of things I would like to share with you. And one is my impression of the bracelet. The bracelet is a nice bracelet, fits perfect to the style and the design of the 80s look. It's, uh, it's a simple, bracelet. The pins are non-screw pins. These are just push pins, but it works perfectly fine. And it's a very comfortable bracelet. So there are no sharp edges or notches or anything like that. It perfectly sits. The clasp is a simple but highly functional clasp with four holes for a fine adjustment. Um, I don't think you can expect much more of a bracelet in this price range. Um, it's okay, it's fine, and it's absolutely in line with the price range. Four holes for a fine adjustment, perfectly fine. Not too thick on the wrist, which I really do like. Another point I would like to share with you is the sapphire crystal, which is extremely sensitive for fingerprints, as you can see here. So if you like to have a clear view, you should make sure you have a cloth with you all the time since you see fingerprints and anything on the black sapphire crystal surface. So this is something you have to be aware of if you decide to go for that watch. Yesterday I said I would like to share with you some insights of the LA company. Yesterday I had a 45 minutes call with Alyosha, the CEO, founder, owner of LA, and it was really, really interesting. Um, to a certain extent, I was uncertain about where to locate the company. Alyosha sits in Berlin. He is the creative head. He is the designer. He comes from a design and architectural background and he creates the look, feel and the ideas of the watch. The operations unit, packaging, all the service stuff and so on is located in a different area in Germany. I don't matter, I don't bother. I would just want to have clarity about where to locate and the creative center sits in Berlin with Alyosha. And what I really think is very interesting that LA plans to launch a mechanical watch this year in a 36 millimeter case limited to 100 pieces. I'm totally curious about that watch and I'm pleased to keep you updated whenever it's going to be released. It's Thursday day two and my LA El Capitan is still on the wrist. I've just taken some shots to show you that I changed the strap. I have the rubber strap currently on the uh, watch in order to prepare myself for my strap parade for tomorrow. Strap change is quite easy if you have the right tool, so no concerns about that. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, the El Capitan is one of the watches which I turned most into the light to read the time in twilight conditions. It is definitely not the best watch to read the time. But as I understood Alyosha, the owner and CEO of LA, it is a conscious design decision 
to use the inverted display, use the black sapphire crystal in order to support the design of the watch. So the watch is created with a strong focus on design rather than on core functionality. Um, I accept that it is a um, point which I'm happy to, to accept just because I love the design of the watch, but I do know it is probably not a watch which I would like to wear each and any day in my life. With Friday morning, day three of my one week on the wrist, and the LA El Capitan is still on my wrist and feels pretty comfortable. I slowly get used to reading the time in the digital way, and I get used to turning the watch into the light, so I, I kind of made my peace with that watch. Um, I, I horribly found out that all of my comments under my videos on my German channel have been deleted. I did a internal switch of my channel, which should have been invisible to my visitors and subscribers. Unfortunately, all my comments, which I wrote in the past, have been gone. My future comments will be visible. Um, I really regret that, but I can't change it. I can't fix it. I look forward to my strap parade, to my play around with straps today. I in particular look forward and I'm pretty curious to see how the NATO straps work on that particular watch and case shape. It's Friday, day three of my one week on the wrist with the LA El Capitan, which is still on the wrist. And today, as promised, I played around with straps and now I would like to show you how different straps look on the LAL Capitan. Here you can see the steel bracelet on which I ordered the El Capitan. It's pretty fine, it was comfortable, um, but I also ordered the standard rubber strap from LA and this is a really nice one, comfortably on the wrist. It's um, soft and it really gives a more sportier look to the watch. And then I had a look into my watch strap boxes and I found this Perlon strap. It's a really thin and airy strap, which I really like in summer times because it dries very fast when you go swimming or take a shower. And this gives a really sporty look to the watch. But I found some other straps as well. This is a thick leather strap with a contrast stitching which makes this watch a little bit more compatible for office work. It's not a formal watch in, in neither way, but it's a less sporty than the other straps. And here we've got a black and red racing strap. I was and I still am unsure if I like or don't like it. I'm not as sure as I am with the other straps. Um, it doesn't look wrong, but I don't know if it looks right, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and um, I have a couple of very special straps. Here I have a cloth strap with black triangles to give a certain contrast. This is a darker strap and I think it really supports the vintage retro look of the watch. I like this combination very much. I have the same strap with a lighter green which enhances the contrast between the black triangles and the strap. And this as well looks pretty fine on the watch according to my personal perception. I like this combination very, very much. Yeah, what else do I have? I have a split NATO, a thick split NATO, which is a little bit more colorful and this makes the watch a perfect leisure time, holiday, summertime beach watch. Absolutely great. I love this one as well. Another summertime Perlon strap in a really strong, intensive blue. Um, this is the only strap where I think I don't like it too much on the watch. It's not completely wrong, but according to my perception, it isn't right either. So this is something I probably wouldn't combine if I had to wear the watch. I wanted to see if I can attach NATO straps to the watch and for that I have to fit in the spring bars first to see if I can pull the NATO straps through. 
and for this I took my skull NATO and uh, yeah, on this side already I could see it is pretty close and I have to pull hard to get the strap through so it's not an easy one on this side and on the other side I tried repeatedly I bent the end of the strap but no way I did not get it through so I had to remove the spring bar, attach the strap and replace the string bar. It's not exactly how NATO straps should work, but um, the outcome is absolutely great. This is the first and only watch which really suits the Skull NATO and I like this combination really a lot. And on my wrist I think it's great and I, I really intend to wear this combination more often than once on um, barbecue parties in summer times when I go out. I like this really really a lot. Yeah, this is my strap parade on the LAL Capitan. Tomorrow I'm going to show you a comparison between the display of the El Capitan and a negative display of a G-Shock. I found in a drawer a G-Shock with a negative display and tomorrow I show you a comparison between the both. Thank you very much and I'm really curious to, to read your comments about my strap parade actually. It's Saturday morning at 11.20 or 11.25 something like that. I'm on my way to my FFP2 masked um, shopping tour for the week. Um, the LAL Capitano is still on the wrist and I really think it's a comfortable and uh, really nice to wear watch and I don't regret having bought it. As promised, I did some comparison shots between the El Capitan and a G-Shock. But before that, I thought it might be interesting for you to see how I took my videos and how my equipment is and my setup. So I took a special shot for you, particularly on my video setting and my equipment. And that's me. Uh, I have my former iPhone 10 in my hand in order to take a shot of my uh, tripod and the iPhone 11 which I currently use to take all the video footage I need. This is my headset, my micro I use for best possible uh, voice recording. Currently I record with my AirPods Pro which I use when I'm on the way, when I need a mobility as good as possible. And that's, that's why my headset. And you can see some ring lights, which I use to uh, create the best possible light for me and for the watches I take. Um, here we've got the uh, iPhone 11 and well, yeah, that's the setting I use to take shots of myself. When I take footage of the watches, I use another tripod. Well, actually, it's not a tripod. It's a kind of monopod with a very solid basis. I like this better because I have more space to wrap around the, the uh, tripod, monopod, and uh, handle the watches. To make the bases disappear, I use a piece of leather and create a unique and flat ground to take the footage of my watches. The ring lights create a really nice and nearly reflection-free reflection light. Um, to improve that, I have a light cube which further reduces reflections of the ring light. So I hope I have a, a setting which allows me to take quite good footage of the watches. Yeah. So let's zoom into the iPhone 11 and have a look at the El Capitan on the left and the G-Shock on the right. You can see the G-Shock is slightly better in terms of readability, has a goldish figure tone, while the El Capitan is the standard silverish color. Um, so from the point of readability, the um, G-Shock is slightly better, however, the El Capitan is the watch I would wear in the office, which I wouldn't do with the G-Shock. Um, comparing the watches in no light conditions as a night shot, I switch off my first video light 
and then I switch off my second video or ring light and we have a pitch black desk and turning on the light you see the G-Shock is slightly better although the El Capitan is sufficiently bright to read the watch at night. Um, you can't set the duration of the light, you just can push a button and push it again if you can't read it in the first glance. Yeah, that has been my comparison between the El Capitan and the G-Shock. If you like it, leave a comment. I personally feel these kind of comparisons are quite helpful. There are days when walking the dog is great, today it's definitely not. It's about a quarter to ten, it's cold, it's snowing and it's absolutely not my day. The LA El Capitan is on the wrist, is fit for the weather and as you can see it is really windy, it's snowing and um, yeah, I look forward to a cup of coffee which I haven't had so far and uh, the LA El Capitan is made for this. It's Sunday evening, day five of my one week on the wrist, and the LA El Capitan is still on my wrist. There is one thing I would like to mention, the pushers, which are kind of exposed, have enough, enough power that they are not pushed unintendedly by a shirt or by a jacket. This is something I had in mind, but it didn't happen throughout the days I had it on my wrist. Hello, it's Monday, a quarter to eight. The LA El Capitan is still on my wrist and I do like this watch really, although I don't think it's gonna be on my wrist for two, three or four weeks um, for the reason that I'm not the digital time reading guy. I like the three hands or chronograph uh, way to show me the time. But it's a really nice watch which really makes me smile and re smile and reminds me to so many things which are long ago. Um, in the meantime, I've put on the steel bracelet again because I think it um, makes the watch look a little bit more valuable, but um, that's just a personal perception. Yeah, I like the watch and um, tonight I'm going to give you a um, last but one update and tomorrow a summary and then this video is going to be live. It's uh, Monday, the last but one day of my one week on the wrist. The LA El Capitan is still on the wrist and it feels great. Today I received a video which is absolutely gorgeous. It's a video from Dana. Dana, many thanks. It's about watches and uh, it's a completely different view, a view completely different from my view and this is what I like so much and this is what my star club should be about. It is in German so I'm not quite sure how to present it in English if it's uh, with subtitles, if I upload it in German and do some, some English commands in between, not quite sure how to do it but it's an absolutely great video and I love it. Yeah. Tomorrow I'll give you a summary of my LA El Capitan and I think it's going to be live um, the day after tomorrow on Wednesday. I've just left my first clubhouse meeting, clubhouse chat as a silent listener to a meeting hosted by Burak from the Wrist Guy and Kai from Watchwise. Um, really interesting, I like that's a great format for a very interactive ex exchange. Um, it would be great if you leave your comments, if you know Clubhouse, if you're a member of Clubhouse, if you like that format and if so, if you would like me to do a Clubhouse meeting and what topics we could touch. It's Tuesday morning about 7.35 in the morning. The LA El Capitan is still on my wrist and this is a very positive sign. It was one, it was on my wrist for about a week and I didn't have any wish to change immediately and um, normally I don't have a watch on my wrist for seven days so this is a really positive sign although I have to say as a single watch or a watch for a longer period let's say a three four weeks holiday um, I personally would choose another watch but if you are happy to accept the limitations by reading the digital time and the negative display 
the LA is really ready for everyday use, waterproof, comfortable on the wrist. However, I prefer the uh, three hands or chrono way to show me the time. Yeah, if you like this kind of video, um, please subscribe to my channel. Look forward to the next videos to come. So do I. Cheers, Axel.